So last time on La Mulana 2, we got the third sigil, the life sigil, which was a big deal. We got, we hung out with Frey and Freya, which was also a big deal. We got the Ankh and the Ankh jewel for Anuffin, but we can't get to the Ankh. So then I went through like all of Immortal Battlefield. Um, I've, I finally fought that fish, Cetus. We defeated Cetus. And we saw Lameza and we saw Mulbrook and we hung out in there for a long time. Um, I think last stream we got this, maybe? I can't remember if that was last stream, maybe not. We did get the chain whip last stream. And then we went into Icefire Treetop for the first time, which was traumatic because I had like dropped the ground underneath me and I bathed in lava. Um, Star welcome and how's it going? So yeah, the first thing we're gonna do today is use the life sigil in a bunch of places, or at least try to. Classic lava trap. There were so many traps last time. So many traps. I just got non-stop beat up last stream. But somehow I still had a good time. I'm liking this weapon upgrade. Nasty, welcome in. How's it going? You're just in time. We just started. I did a little bit of a recap. We're going to use the life sigil on some stuff. Um, I think I did this fight last stream. I have a log in my notes of all the mini bosses and bosses that I've seen so far. Oh, it's green. Why is it green? What is this room even called? Golden Altar. Okay. There's a chest in there. I'm assuming this is the room I thought it was. It's kind of weird. We gotta swing around the pillar. I need the grapple, I don't have that yet. Oh god. Not the Yeti! Oh yeah, in this room. This freaking room. Alright, that's all I need to do in this area for now, then. There's not very many life seals that I've found yet, so I have a feeling we're gonna end up going back to Icefire Treetop. There's one in here. This giant map of a mortal battlefield. And we actually, oh, that's not the warp I wanted. We have two Holy Grail tablets here now. Ah. It looks like it's smiling because of the boat that I drew in the middle of it. Why did I draw the letter B question mark? I 
think my diagram is wrong. Classic gen. Oh, okay, because this, I was looking at the shop. This is where I was. Okay, wonderful. I do love the music here. But I love all the musics. This because it was the little, um, that soldier. And this one's also green. Why is it green? No. Get out of here. That's so rude. That means we have to stop in the middle and use Earth Spear. No. Well, we're off to a good start. Hey, Trav, welcome in. How's it going? Oh god, oh god. Happy Monday. I feel like we're gonna do one without the pendant because I don't think I'm gonna be able to Earth Spear while sprinting. I guess I could test that action. No, I can't use a sub weapon while sprinting. I tried it. There's no way. Do they at least reset? Yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> no. I can't believe they made a game where I'm shocked at how mean it is. <laughs> I know this game, I should not be surprised. Currently on lunch break so I can hang for a little. Nice, enjoy lunch break. It's so rude. Ugh. And there's two switches. Is this gonna tell me which one I need to do? Step together? No! <laughs> so mean! Oh my god. I can't even fight you. Chaos, how's it going? Welcome in. Oh, I hate this. I'm gonna run out of Earth Spears trying to do this. Oops. Oh, no, no, why would they put this enemy here? I feel like that was pretty close. Is this supposed to be with the... Yeah, maybe. With everything? No. No. 
not with the things on the bottom, too. At least I have 88 rolling shuriken left. That was so close. By my standards. <laughs> no! I'm gonna die to this skeleton before I figure this out. Oh, okay, I got it. It wasn't with the stompy thing. Oh, we get chakram. Weapons that return after being thrown, catch them on the return to retain ammo. I'm gonna turn down the music just a little bit today. I feel like I can't hear myself think. I'm so sorry. I do love the music. Yeah, the timing was a little, <laughs> was a little rude. <gasps> but we got it. Now to never visit this room ever again. Check off the weapon block. So I don't know if I've seen a place where we needed Chakram to continue yet, but that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Last time also, I wrote so many notes down about Nidog. They just love that dragon. All right, where to next? Like none of the mini bosses have as many notes as Nidhog. N Nidhog. That might have been... Is that the only... No, Valhalla has one. Right underneath this room. Which I think is a mini boss fight. Or it's like a big scary statue. But I need to figure out how to jump up to the sigil. Hmm. So we might not be able to do that yet. Next time I'm passing a big statue in town, I'm gonna have to think, ooh, mini boss fight. <laughs> I wish you could break it with a earth spear. Is this like that Celeste technique? Where you can, like, jump back and forth between the screens. That would be cool. Spelunky 2, Spelunky Harder. Hi, Spooky, how are you? Welcome in. over here
Paga. That doesn't help me. What about this? This says Earth Spear. Yeah. Alright, well, maybe we give up on that for a minute. That was fun. I have an Ice Fire treetop save, yeah. Let's go there. That was really my only to do list. Was to do the life sigils. This music goes also way too hard. It has no right. Okay, here's Ice Fire Treetop. What have I done here so far? Found the poison room. Found an exit. Oh no, that's where we first came in. I think I got this chest. I think this was the map chest. We met an interesting NPC and a and a giant. Isn't there normally an elevator in this room? What the heck? Oh, there it is. Oh no. No! I tried to jump over it. I know it's there. Okay, I still don't have this one. <laughs> the elevator appears when I complain, yeah. I haven't really done anything here. So part of me wants to just... dive in the lava and look for a switch or something. I can't even examine this chest with the scanner. That's weird. see anything in the lava that would make me want to swim in there to try a switch or something. The lava effect is very cool. Swirling. I need to go buy more earth spears. Trying to see if one of those blocks on the sides of the wall would react. Ugh. We did this room. Inga Musica is in there for 1500 gold. $1,500. Sounds like a fair price. Eh. I guess so. Oh, right. 
We found Redrifulnir. B for mini boss. We um we have a tablet about these two birds. Eight times pricier than the gun, no big deal. Yeah. I only have 17 shuriken. I do have chakram. Vedfulnir and Vedrfulnir. Yeah, why is it sometimes have an R there and sometimes not? Oops. I thought I selected this. I guess not. Where did you go? That went off screen for so long. The timing on this baby bird. There we go. I'm just gonna kill the baby. Oh no, I'm out of shuriken. <laughs> thing with many Norse deities. Oh, okay. Flying so fast you fly into a shuriken. I know. It's impressive. Oh, I have to go get it. Still worked, though. Okay. My strategy is failing. What strategy do you ask? This one. Oh god. <laughs> Danger magma. I didn't have high hopes for that. Let's go restock. I'm assuming La I'm gonna assume in La Mulana one's probably the big bird, the other's the little. Oh, that makes sense. I mean I feel like that's reasonable. The big, the muscle, the small, the brains. I don't have much. The only note I have on them here, let me look it up. Is that it's. Vedfulnir, a small eagle perched atop the head of a large counterpart. That's really all I know. I think. Okay, so where do I buy all my stuff? Immortal Battlefield has Earth Spears. I think the upper shop. Wait, no, I think the lower shop. No, wait. <laughs> Is Mulbrook back yet? No. I miss her. Curry stink. Gotta head back to work. We'll hopefully be back later. Trav, have a good one. Thanks for hanging out. Good luck with work. I sent her to, um, enough to find the other entrance. And she found it. She contacted me. And said something. Oh, right. I have to fight the squirrel. You haven't seen Mulbrook yet? Oh, she's wonderful. Hopefully we see her today. I don't have that much money. I'd rather have more shuriken. Which those I think are on the surface. She got a makeover. She has cool um, stripy socks.
God, spending all my money. That's good for now. Speaking of beasties that randomly gain, lose an R. Oh yeah, Reditas versus Reditasker. But you don't pronounce it, right? It's just kind of there. Where did that giant go? That was walking through here. Do we not get to see them again? Oops. Oh god. Hey llama. Welcome in. How's it going? I think the R is pronounced as soft to be an easy drop. Yeah. Who's doing the storytelling be the answer, yeah. Oops, that was a wasted one. Oh, look, I jumped over it. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Calm down, Jen. No! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Gaming. Gaming by a gamer. Okay, that wasn't good. Oh my god. The beefiest birds. The most HP. We're not even- oh, rip. We're not even halfway done with their HP. There's gotta be a better way. Pure gamer energy. Oh god. <laughs> Llama! Thank you for the prime. Welcome back to the human race. Enjoy your Earthbound, your emotes, your ad for viewing. We're so glad to have you. Thank you for your 39 months. As I get beat up by the lava. Oh, there's no heat proof case in this game. You saw nothing. A moon burb orbiting a planet burb. You didn't have my <laughs> It's a good emote to have. All right, forget this. What's over here again? This NPC that's m married to the giant. Oops, I have the wrong map. No, it's not you. And above this is the poison room. I could go swim through this lava. That won't last very long. Oh yeah, there it is. Sur Searcher's room. Another R. Swim through lava, you'll be warm for the rest of your life. It's very true. Oh my god. I didn't know they could jump that far. Well, now I feel st stuck. I don't know what to do next. Open this chest. Wait for the elevator. Ow. 
this room. I remember this room. But I don't think I need anything in here anymore. Because that's where the sigil was. What else can I do right now? What is this? I think I got this. And didn't check it off. Why is this unchecked? I forget what's up here. I feel like I need to take better notes. I know what a lot of my notes say. Like, I know that's a number two sigil. But I don't remember why I can't access it right now. Oh my god. Evil! close. Here, we'll visit our favorite NPC. Keep your stanky ass out of here. Right, this room. We were just up here. Okay, then I think maybe... We reattack some of the mini bosses because we have more health now. We got some orbs. We got a new whip. And then if I defeat either Ratatos or Nidog, I can get into these areas from the other side, hopefully. We got a new whip. Lolo, how's it going? choices. Oh, codices. Codices? Yes. That does help. I guess I'll use a weight. I should label, um... Which of these has... Which mini-boss in it? I think... Nidog's in the middle, but I don't know. Hi, Captain Mangles. How are you? Welcome in. The rotating platform jank. It's... It's, uh... That's an interesting concept. Yeah, this isn't a dog. It looks like it's at half health.
Matt, welcome in. How's it going? Happy Monday. I'm doing really good today, Captain Mangles. Thanks. Um, despite the cold, I'm in a little better mood today, so that's good. Oh god. Oh god. We got this. Oh god. No! No! Well, that was fun. It's gonna stay at half health for us, right? Or not half health, whatever I inflicted. Nope. That's so mean. No! I hate this. We were doing so good! Every other boss room has a door that like closes you in, but not this one. game. How was I jumping over those before? I was doing so good. <laughs> Hi, Cabbage. Thank you for tier 3. Thank you for 45 months. Welcome back to the human race. Enjoy your earth badge, your emotes, your ad reviewing. I really, really appreciate the support. It's good to see you. I know I just, um, died, but <laughs> I hope I'm still deserving. <laughs> the singing threw me off. We have a, we have a new emote, Cabbage. We have a La Mulana themed emote now. You probably already saw it. Ooh, that was close. No! This is doing like no damage. Oh my god. Yeah, we can see the HP. I went and bought the the codices. All right. Well, I feel less bad. I don't think I was doing as well as I thought I I was in that other fight because I don't. The shuriken does like nothing. Maybe we try the chakram. I don't know. With all the notes I have on Nidog, I don't really have any notes on what it's weak to. Just what it guards. We're dead. Time to use the gun. Oh, I fell. I hope you like the emote. It's a fun one. Fits in with the game. Please end me. End me. Uh, I, of course, now if I want to use the gun, I don't have enough money to buy it. Why is that blank like that?
All right, let's go try Ratatosk. I like that Ratatosk gets their own theme music. Almost there. Just keep shooting fireballs at me. Yeah! Oh, it's still not dead. We did it! Red Jam. Defeated! Now we have access to this room. It was looking better when the shuriken were doing a lot more damage to Ratatosk. It's doable for a while now. No, don't say that. <laughs> I was scared of the mini bosses. It's me, I'm finally out of that fishy room. I had the feeling that there was some sort of nasty trap lying in wait, so I jumped the hell out of there. Now I'm in some wide open area. I think there's some Shit, Mulbrook is offline. Uh oh. I gotta rescue Mulbrook. There's a door over here and a earth spear thing. Are there any ceiling traps? I don't think so. I'm gonna risk it. Ha! <laughs> I got stuck. There's a switch deep in the hole in the floor. Somebody bring me a stick. I tried to push it and my hand got stuck and I up and died. High five. That incredible sequence break, thank you. Thank you, Semi. A niffin. Poison. All right, well that makes me wanna go save immediately. Why? Okay, there was a time earlier that I was like, so unsure of myself because I didn't see Lumisa's face blinking on the map and I was like where is she on the map and I was like oh maybe there's never a cursor <laughs> like gaslighting myself into believing that that was normal we actually don't really need to heal back here because we got the refill But I want to go to the puddle. I didn't do a full save. I think that's okay. We got the quick save. Whoa! New type of Pikachu! A black carbuncle. This carbuncle has been mutated by the dissonance permeating Eglana. It can unleash true power of the jewel in its forehead. Those who stand before its gaze will surely perish. A <laughs> shiny!
What does a shiny Pikachu actually look like? Oh, I need to snooze this. Okay, let's go try to find a save here and then we'll take a break. Can this absorb poison? No. Death's prison? What? Where's my map? A nothing. A nothing. Over here. Poison gas. Well, I don't have a gas mask. I think it's coming from this face. Am I supposed to run real fast, maybe? Something. <laughs> but if you hit the switch, so was I just supposed to use a rolling shuriken? Probably. That was worth it. It kind of worked. It worked after I died. I'm gonna have to get that glossary entry over and over again. Yay! The actual solution. Another one of these things. Possessor of the figurine of prayer, pray that the memory of this moment may remain. This says the same thing, I think, as last time. Jiggly, how's it going? Welcome in. Let's put this in my notes. Where is this? Okay. It's common in the randomizer. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to know about late game items yet. It's not time for that. Wait, so what's down here? Oh, feather cross room. Oh, I could never get over here. Hanuman. That sounds like a Digimon. Hanuman is a monkey demon said to have received the powers of Thor. Highly aggressive, he freely commands storms using his special staff. This is the original from which the La Mulana Hanuman was replicated by the philosophers using the Tree of Life. Thunder monkey.
Well, there's so many archers in this room. And I don't have mantras yet, so I don't know that I need to be in here. I'll put a weapon block. Oh, I don't have a symbol for the bust of Mimir. I could put an M. M for Mimir. They're getting round of accusations of reusing assets. Actually, this is the original, yeah. <laughs> I mean, they do look different. I'm gonna go try to read that tablet, though. Like, this one's all stretchy and weird. The golden rock keeps the crystal from ascending to heaven. It will pass to the hand with the mark of life. Hmm, interesting. The Amarna wrote this. I think I can open up this passageway. Maybe. Ye who seek power invoke the power of Earth. It's all stretchy and weird. Their attack is more like what they had in Classic. That's cool. Reusing assets again. Oh, I see that green thing up there. Use the power of Earth. What, to break that vase? I don't know, I'm pressing it. I don't understand. What's the big idea with that vase, anyways? A friend visited last summer, just found my most difficult Korok I've hidden in his apartment. Wait, you hid Koroks in your friend's apartment? to write this down. This is a three and a treasure chest. 88, welcome in. Thanks for the good luck. How's it going? Oh, Earth like the mantra Earth? Because it's written in a different color. It's blue instead of... I feel like when it's a weapon-related thing, it's different. Had a good ugly cry for the ending of newest Yakuza game. Other than that, I'm good. Oh, It was that good? I'm glad. I hid multiple ones. Didn't I send you a picture of them? Yeah. I think you did. Now it's coming back to me. That's so fun. So I wonder if the mantras actually do things in this game besides just put the text above you on screen. Like maybe Earth makes an earthquake. I'll never know. We gotta fight Kujata first and get the pillar. Oh, so many archers. Wait, I didn't read this yet? Proceed if you yearn for either death or heaven. 
The mantras? <laughs> the land of fairies and archers. Yeah, really. Prepping for Kujata, I think? Don't answer that. But I think that's what we're doing. It's amazing how much faster playthroughs go when you're not playing once a week. For three hours. Oh, I can f Oh, Mulberg! <laughs> I can finally get into this room! Mulberg is so cute! I love her! Alright, I want to go up from the top, so we're gonna- we know she's there, we're gonna pause, because I ran out of snoozes on the ad. I thought I was gonna be able to go back and find the save, but I think we're gonna want to go save and then come back through again. Just sleepy. Eepy. Besties. Trigger warning. Trigger warning for what? I don't know what you're doing, I don't know your inventory, and you mentioned it. Yeah, no, I am i didn't mean that you would give it away, I just meant chat, don't answer if I'm close. I think we're close-ish. Um, okay, I'll see you when we get back, we're gonna rescue Mulbrook. Thanks, everybody. I'll set up words, too, I haven't set it up yet today. Okay, sorry if that felt really rushed going into the break. This happens only when I use all of my ad snoozes. Which I try not to do. So be it. Um, but we do need to talk about something important. Okay, so apparently there's a trigger warning after I cut Mulbrook down for self-harm related things, which I will take trigger warnings very seriously here and I just want to make sure anyone is properly prepared. Um, it, do they show anything? Or is it in the text? Like, is it just in the dialogue? It is shown. Okay. Do. Oh, okay. Don't like that. Thank you for letting me know and calling it out. Um, once I go to cut her down from the rope, I'll give you all a heads up. And then the mods, if you could type in chat when it's over, once we're past it. So if anybody's avoiding that, I would recommend just pausing the stream when we do it and then you'll still be able to see chat going and mods will be like okay it's over thank you really appreciate that G that good procedure like tell me trigger warning and then we can take a moment so i can ask you what it is because i don't want anybody just being well whatever even if somebody's like trigger warning for this event like i'd rather you do that than not say anything forget spoilers when it comes to trigger warnings Mayan deity as portrayed by conquistadors and not as, like, as they actually were. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, that helps too. I need to figure out how to cut her down first. <laughs> I need to figure out how to get to her. So racism too from depictions, inaccurate depictions by conquistadors. This game, while fascinating in puzzles, is not without its flaws, so. Oh, and we instantly died. <laughs> See, we're not even to that part yet. <laughs> I have to redo it again. I said I was gonna save and then I forgot because we were talking about the trigger warning. Squeesh. That was a fast one! They've made their animation so much faster! I'm not even reading about the shiny Pikachu. Oh, we have to do this again. Gotta squish fast, we can't have you somehow squeak through. 
apparently not. Go get this. Gotta go read this. Mimir. Gotta go read this. Gotta go press this. Okay, I think that's about it. I think it's about all the traps I squeaked through anyway. <laughs> Doing a lot of squeaking. I think I need to go up this ladder instead of the other one. No, that doesn't help us. I wonder if you could, like, run and jump with that thing. I'm gonna save. <laughs> we gotta do it. It's an easy enough path. I don't want to have to redo all that reading. Pikachu! They drop a lot of money. Oops. At least I don't have to refight Nidog every time we come in there. Are there traces of poison every time I come in here? I guess so. Poison does not disperse so easily. Guess it wasn't the best time to have been s stuffing my pockets. Well, I'm boned. Can I go past her? Ooh, I can finally read these. Forget Malmbrook, I gotta read the lore. Ye who seek the feather to carry them to the highlands. Traverse the corridor of blood and reach the dark star beyond. This is new. The depictions here are a lot more intricate than in La Mulana 1. Yeah, the drawings are really cool. A giant frog and lightning. Tablets. You gotta read all the tablets. You must possess the golden key. The power of storms rests in the belly of the great serpent Jormungand. Which last stream we raised the mural of them up in Immortal Corridor, which was cool. And they're holding, yeah, the, the Pachette key. Similar to La Milana 1. Bear a cog at the pit of time. The flow of time will run, leading to the path of its stilling. That's cool. That looks like Ratatosk. The pixel art on tablets and remake classic is so inconsistent and unfortunately leans in classic's favor. Interesting. We're playing classic tomorrow, by the way, in case anybody missed it at the beginning of stream. That's our bonus stream this week. Ooh, 
wonder why they didn't just finish the name, just put in the R at the end. I don't know. Does this open a door for me now? That's nice. We're saving again. I don't know why I didn't just warp. Look how lazy I am. <laughs> I still feel like it's faster to come from the roots. If you're wondering if I could possibly draw this out any longer, the answer is yes. We'll get there, don't worry. Oh, rip. Forgot about that, but that's kind of what we wanted. Okay. Anything can be drawn out longer. All right, time to end stream. See you next time. Yeah, really. So trigger warning for self-harm and depictions of Mayans in a racist way, in a from the perspective of the conquistadors way. Content warning for nooses. Okay. Thank you, Redtail. Thank you, everybody, for taking care of chat. We will let you know in chat when it's over. So if you want to pause your game now, now's the time to do it. Okay. Thank you for the warnings. I appreciate it. I really do. We're going to free her. Can I examine her with the scanner first? No. Mulbrook, are you okay? Oh, hey. I'm awake. I was totally awake. While I was kind of randomly checking out this room, this rope appeared out of nowhere and I got hung up. I didn't know how to get out of it, so I took a little nap. Well, I mean, no, wait. I was awake. Looks like there's an onk somewhere on this side of a niffin. I looked into it. Or, like, I get the feeling there's one around here. Anyways, you've caught up with me, so I'm gonna go back to my tent. Later. Mulberg, be careful! Oh, okay, so it's the mini boss. Don't like it. Don't like it. Also, it seems like. You are already struggling enough that I don't need to fight you. Like, you're not really attacking me. I need to try to free you. I don't know how to get out of this. Oh, mom, now's not a good time to come in. Oh my gosh. This is not, this is not a common occurrence from what I understand in La Mulana 2, but this, this boss is very macabre, very morbid. Yeah. Hi, mom, the human. Sorry, this is what you're coming into. I guess we just warp out of here. I don't want to stay. It's not like I can or need to fight, I think. It's okay, we're leaving now. Okay. I don't know, so if I'm gonna go back in that room, we'll do another warning for it. But... For now, it's over. Irony, welcome in. How's it going? 
Modern, as in 25 to 30 years, archaeology and study of Maya deities finds little to no reference to anything like Ixtab. The closest thing they've found is a goddess with a single small shrine who is a deity of snare trapping. The room is now generally a trigger warning. I wish I could just end it. If I feel like using a safe word for that, I'll let you know because I don't want to have to keep going in there. I don't like it. I think I went the wrong way. Wait. Now there's nothing in there, but I'm assuming when I go back in that it's back? Do we plan to do the DLC? I do have it. Um, I do have it. I do own it. Petri gifted it. Shaggy, how's it going? Welcome in. Okay, this hasn't changed. So we go through the trap door. Okay, trigger warning. I don't know if it's gonna happen again. I'm so freaking cold. I have thick socks and a hoodie. Same. I've got my huggle. Can I somewhat spoil the DLC in regards to a trigger warning? It will happen again. Okay. So I'm gonna get trapped in here again? Then safe word, is there anything I can do right now to end the trigger warning situation? Like, no, ugh. Well, defeat it. The boss is required to kill to progress. That's what I mean. So I do have the ability to defeat it right now. That's what I'm asking. Also, safe word. Okay, safe word, tell me how to do it. I don't normally do this, but this makes me really uncomfortable. I'm sorry that's taking away one of the puzzles for you all, but I don't like it. <laughs> and I don't wanna have to worry about it for all of chat and for the rest of the playthrough. Just strike the head. Okay. Thank you. It's a very uncomfortable mini boss. Oh, I hate it. How many of those are there gonna be? Oh, you can hit them. Yikes. Yeah, I would have never. We have 28 shurikens left. I know I don't have to hit the head with a shuriken, but... Ooh! Halfway done. Not taking away anything from us. Thanks, Emmy. If you get caught, mash wiggle like heck. Okay, thank you. Terrible boss. Terrible, terrible, terrible. This is my biggest complaint about this game. And I think it will be. Like, for the whole playthrough. I don't know. You tell me if there's anything worse than this. Oh my god. I want it to be over! We're button mashing, we're button mashing! At least it's like wrapped around your body when you get caught, you know? DLC has worse than this. Okay, then I might not be doing the DLC. We'll see. I'm out of shurikens almost. Oh, Maggie, hi. Thank you for the 38 months. Welcome back to the human race. Enjoy Earth Badger emotes, your ad reviewing. We're so glad to have you. Thanks for coming in. Um, I'm trying to get through this mini boss quick because this is major trigger warning, content warning territory. 
So just as a heads up for anybody coming in. Ixtab is awkward, her lore vibes well with Eastern Japanese ideologies, so she seems staunchly stuck as in most Japanese media, unfortunately. Huh. I mean, and I, I get... I don't know. I'm not versed in the lore, so I don't know as far as, like, if it's part of Japanese media, if it's something I don't understand. I just personally am, am uncomfortable with it, so I'm trying to get through it quickly. Which is why that's my complaint about this part of the game. Like, I don't know how to attack without using shuriken. And I'm wasting them all getting rid of the nooses. Okay, well, this is rough. So are there other things I can do besides this right now? Am I, like, locked into this part of the game right now? I guess we should go get full health at least. Oops, wrong one. I don't think I'm locked. Yeah, trigger warning over for now until I go back. There's very little else to do. Dang. That sucks. Watch me buy the gun just for this fight. It's not my worst idea I've ever I've ever had to do. Valid reason, valid purchase. I don't have enough money yet. Let's farm money. Doll cake, how's it going? Welcome in. How are you? How was the rest of your birthday? Get that money! We're trying. I don't know a good place to farm coins yet. I know in the first game we found the money shortcut. Anytime there's a centipede boss, it kills me. The one thing I'm fearful of. Giant spiders, let's go. Million likes, please, no. Centipedes are... Especially if you make them... Oversized? Frightening. It was great and I raised 1,100 for War Child. Congrats, that's awesome. Aw, oh, that's so rad. Can we get a shout out for Doll Cake, please? Um. Gosh, and I don't even know. I wish you could sell stuff. Thank you, mods. Yeah, that's huge. That's so cool. There's no money up here. Whee! I'm trying to think of places where I've seen big treasure coin chests. I forgot about this fight or did not anticipate that it might be such an issue. While I also found the macabreness quite shocking surprising, I still need to work on myself to become more sensible for potential triggers for others. I appreciate that, Petrie. I think as long as we address it before it came up today, I'm glad that we were able to like talk it through before I walked into the fight. Um, as far as like the playthrough in general, not knowing before starting this game, I'm okay. Um, I don't think it would have stopped me from playing the game, but I do definitely think I'm gonna like go out of my way to get the gun to just get it over with, which also sounds awful. And that's based on my history with this specific like uh, content. Which I really don't want to get into right now. <laughs> and I don't need to. Ixtab is a death escort goddess who was said to take extra care, pity on those who took their own lives. Especially in the way depicted to higher planes of paradise. And from a European viewpoint during the age of exploration, boy howdy was that some hearsay. Meanwhile in the east, especially Japan where there's history of ritualistic self-harm, it's different. 
I love that you use graph paper, yeah. We do all graph paper maps here. We're getting like one coin at a time. If anybody has money spots, I'll save for that too. Oh, here we go. Killing enemies is good for money. We're taking- we're just taking a short departure from my norm. Don't let it alarm you. There's a fairy. Can I see your warps? Not without further progress. It's no longer alarmed. Thanks, doll cake. Shrine of Frost Giants, Roots, Anufin, Immortal Battlefield, Icefire Treetop, Divine Fortress, and then the other Immortal Battlefield and Valhalla. I feel like the squints probably dropped some good money. No ferry access beyond Ire. Right. I don't have I don't have a treasure ferry yet, so Oh my gosh, look at you swimming so well. Oh, that wasn't money. always drop XP? Hmm, interesting. So maybe this wasn't a very good place to come hang out. I can't get past this one. We're striking out. Had to load my game up again, but I think you at least have the location. I just need, like, one pot that has, like, ten coins. I don't need, like, a huge money haul. I just need something simple. We're not that far away. I'm actually gonna go heal. We'll get through this, don't worry. Well, I already said don't worry, but I'm saying it again. Otherwise, we'll try to do other stuff. So that I can, like, fight the enemy off stream. Other stuff, I don't know. We'll find something to do. Okay, we got a refill, that's nice. Do you drop money? No. Nobody's dropping money! Dang it.
Okay, then without a chest, without a pot, it's gonna take way too long, I think, because every enemy drops, like, one coin. Except for Frost Giant, that was pretty good. The Yetis, maybe they're better. Nope, that was just luck. There's not like any known like money pots. Oh, there's one. I can't get it. We're so close. Ah, we'll never get it. That surprises me that the first game has such a good one like right in the village. We only need two more coins. One more coin. It is funny that I just went shopping for all that ammo too. First game has only one in the twins. But like, there's a pot in the village that drops like five coins or something. Right? Or is that only when you have the treasure fairy? It must be- it must be once I got the treasure fairy, I used that one before I had access to the, um, Chamber of Extinctions area. And you can get like five or ten at a time. Mini bosses are good for it, yeah. Well, we got it. Treasure Fairy makes everything better for money. We just don't have Treasure Fairy yet. And I, I don't think we've even seen her. I think we've only seen the... I think it's Battle Fairy that's in the cage. Hopefully this thing comes with ammo. Because I know you can buy it separate. Not very powerful. But handy. I don't think it comes with ammo. Oh yeah, six shots. I remember mentioning that it was easy to grind on the surface because I don't recall if you'd been where the actual grind spot was, but you had, so it was a detour, okay. Do you want damage numbers? Sure, but we should be able to see pretty quickly since I have the boss health bar. It's still powerful, okay, good. Oh, I hate the stupid land shark. I didn't do a hard save just in case for some reason I end up wanting to go back and unpurchase it, but I think we're good. It does 12. Pretty weak on HP. Okay, good. You can always make a hard save on a new slot, true. We got the slap sword, yeah. All right, trigger warning again. I don't think anybody new has come in, but there's depictions of hanging and there's nooses. Um, I don't, I don't know if there's anything after the boss, but. I'm gonna try to defeat this boss quickly, because I hate it. And also I'm gonna be shooting at it with a gun. Oh, I already missed. Uh, 
Oh, it's over. Thank God. Thank you all for your patience and understanding wanting to get through that quickly. Trigger warning over. Phew. Metal, welcome in. Thanks for the hello. It's good to see you. I like this emote combination. The glossary gives HP numbers. Oh, that's right. Okay. Now go save. All right, we'll go save. So I never have to do it again. It's only really over if you actually save. True. Fresh new page of saves. We put it behind us. The worst game of rock, paper, scissors ever. What do you mean? Impatient fans don't last long. All right, all right. I'm going. We're back on track. Gun beats news. Oh, no. But it does. But oh, my God. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Let's just move on. I can do morbid humor sometimes, but not with that particular topic. I don't like this walk back either. Yeah, I understand that, Jiggly. I know a lot of people do. Normal enemies! So now I'm past that door that will squish me. No, 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 why? This area is so mean. Yeah, normal enemies, right, so... <sighs> I wanna go save again! Remind after the stream to talk with you regarding DLC. Definitely, Petrie. Yeah, we will talk. It went miss hit hit hit, thanks. <laughs> I think that's what makes it so disappointing. La Mulana makes so many good dark jokes and twisty references already. It goes a different level here. And there's a cultural element involved that because, I don't know, it's just, and it's like, everybody has a different history with different topics. Just a monkey with a thunder staff. I hope I'm, I hope I'm at least talking, like using my own words in a way that makes sense for you all. Of, as to why it made me uncomfortable, but that doesn't make it like, oh my god, the game is terrible. And as a streamer, I have an obligation and responsibility to protect my viewers for anyone who doesn't want to see that content, so. Yeah. We're moving on, we're moving on. We got into the room that I could never get into before. No! I said I wanted to go save and then I didn't. We did save, but not after that other switch. This is just the most evil sequence. Wait, there was another chest that I couldn't examine. I wonder if that one is like this. I don't want to accidentally use the rest of my bullets in case I need them for another mini boss. It's a good trap. There's just so many traps in a row. And we haven't seen a mimic chest yet, but I was thinking maybe we would at some point. Naramura learned about mimics for this game, yeah. There's doors, there's chests. Who knows what else there will be? Grubs. Oops. Oh 
the fairies really protected this place. Or the alpha. Oh, no, 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 no. The last game had it. Oh, that's right. We did have an exploding chest. In the end, it's irrelevant. Thanks for the lurk, Shaggy. Enjoy. Okay, look. I'm gonna go up here again. Oh, there's a skeleton right next to it. And when I use the hand scanner, nothing happens. This is not a chest. No. Last game had an exploding chest. I super dig mimics, feel like there's a lot of unexplored space in gaming for new mimics. Oh my god. I wonder if I can... Finally, a room without any puzzles takes a weight off your mind, but at the same time, why am I dead? Well, turns out you don't need puzzles to have traps. Go figure. Can you, like, do that? Yeah. No! So many more traps. He who holds the seventh children's figurine. Unto your holy grail we shall bestow memories anew. Already heard how mimics can take care of horny bards. <laughs> but ditto is a huggable mimic. Yeah, the togs are having a good time down there. I like I like when they're far away from me. Okay, well we made it. It's not quite there yet. Kujata slumbers amid a sea of chaos. You must possess a ship to cross the sea of chaos. A ship of the dwarf siblings Brocker and Itree's creation. Okay, I don't have a ship. I've been putting my notes in the wrong section. Oh well, I'll move them later. I was putting them in the mantra section, but they go in the Anufin section. And the Kujata section. We made it to the room! Maybe. Does this stay open? We're gonna go and see what this fight is all about, but I don't have a boat. A shortcut. <laughs> Hopefully it works it works out. When something grabs my tongue and it tries to swing on it and I'm also quite murderous, oh my god. This is wrong. I don't know how to get back there. I do have an Ankh Jewel. I have two. I have a surplus of Ankh Jewels. 
because I bought one in La Mulana. Um, I went too far. They buffed spikes in the game. That was my biggest complaint. Yeah. All right. We made it with much difficulty, and I still don't believe that I have everything I need, but let's check it out. Behold. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I don't have the pacha key or the ship or anything. I don't know what it means. It's very, um, oh God, I can't think of his name. Who's the boss in La Mulana? Palenque. Hi, Endless, how's it going? Welcome in. <laughs> All right, well, um, Go see Mulbrook. It's like when I got squished right at the beginning. Yeah, oh yeah, I love that. I love that clip. I'm gonna set up camp here and go do some exploring for a bit. If there's anywhere you haven't been yet, or anywhere you want me to check out, let me know and I'll do it. Any requests? We already did a Newfin. Go ahead and take a nap. <laughs> oh, she's awake! Mulberkey Borger. I already picked this one. But maybe she'll tell me about the boat? There's a giant boat in Immortal Battlefield, though. There's a couple different- there's so many different boats. This place is pretty big. All right, then I'm gonna go up ahead and see what's around. I mean, go on down ahead. Bye! I love her music. All right. Mulberger, yeah. She's such a cutie. Let's find my map. I like that we interact in more ways with her than in the first game. It's so nice! We have a friend! Her tent matches her outfit, yeah. Oh right, this stupid room. I tried running through here and I still wasn't fast enough. Sorry, dance break. I wanna know what that's a picture of. Vampire's corridor.
I'm already scared. What happens if you step on the first one? What happens if you... What happens if you never touch the ground? Like... If you jump over the first few tiles and then start running. I don't think this is a good idea. We're definitely gonna die. No, I couldn't even... I couldn't even jump properly. I feel like you don't have good traction with that thing. The fibula. Okay, what if I try it one more time? It's, it stops you way too soon to even like, what if you like did a run and then a long jump over the last ones? I don't think that would work either. I'm only coming down here because I'm not sure what else to do in this area. We gotta go find Mulbrook. Maybe she'll send me an email. I just really like dying in this section. Okay, we can run and jump. Doesn't help. We're ruling it out. <laughs> oh my god. Let's go for a swim. I forgot there was a chest in here. That wall looks kind of green. I wonder if that's another Earth Mantra situation. Oops. Oops. <laughs> oh my god. Why can't I make that? The orange goober guys, they're cute, huh? Look. Oh, I missed. I was gonna try to get him to fall down. Do I still have any vertical control? I do. Oh, but not there. Weird. But I've been to the room underneath the boat, so I don't really need to go back there.
Oh, this was where I got the chain whip. I can cross that off. Hey Fenris, welcome in. Thanks for the hello. How's it going? This is where we saw La Mesa. This is like a one-way door situation. Just woke up, gen stream, not as not a bad way to start the day. I mean same, because I woke up and started getting ready for stream, like, immediately. I slept in really late today. Have I been up here? Oh. Oh, what? Pit of time. Okay, I'm falling for it. Kasugi research papers. The second children. And then we'll take a break after I read this. The second children are said to have lived in the shrine of the frost giants. However, it is written in surviving texts that these second children were wiped out through civil war in the ruins of La Mulana. It wasn't the giants who were in the shrine of the frost giants, but a number of the Lokapala. It appears that none of the second children remain in Eglana either. The civil war among the second children was caused by the nine siblings who held power at the time. The text detailed nine siblings, Zebu, Beto, Megela, Lido, Fudo, Abudo, G, Ribu, and Saki. Detailed information on the siblings can be found accompanying some very nice stone statues found around the ruins of La Mulana, now a tourist spot. Possibly due to the fact that they were indeed giants, this race turned out to provide an excellent workforce, and it is said that among all the various races born from the mother over the centuries, it was they who came closest to achieving the final goal of returning the mother to space. They had apparently been successful in making contact with extraterrestrial beings, and they made it as far as developing rocket ship technology. But even these advancements did not provide the power required to send the huge mother off into space. This is where opinions divided. Continue trying to return the mother to space, or resign themselves to the fact that the mother would remain here on Earth. The nine siblings split into two opposing factions, leading to war. According to texts remaining inside La Mulana, it was the youngest brother, Sakit, who ultimately wiped out both sides of the conflict. Nothing is known about Sakit's motives nor intentions. Fascinating. I don't want to get to the other side of the pit of time, but not right now. We gotta go to the puddle. Every archaeologist wishes they had a time machine to go back in time and just ask, yeah. For real. Alright. Enjoy the break. I got some pondering to do. We've got some more exploring to do. And I'll see you when we get back. Thanks, so. We gotta get back. 
to immortal battlefields. Oh, it's going. <laughs> we gotta explore. We gotta find the stuff that I'm still missing over here. We're looking for Mulbrook. The little orange friends, they're so cute. I kind of want to go back up to where we first entered this area. Actually, I feel like, well, let's, one thing at a time. Curry stink! Thank God for the danger app. It's it's, it's a lifesaver. Truly. I don't think there's anything else over here, but I just thought maybe I would come hang out again because I haven't been over here in a minute. This room. Have I ever mapped the room under this? I don't know. And this room we got. This has a chest, but I already marked. I already got it. Except there's a door in here, so there's an NPC that lives here. I don't think it's a shop, though. Considering Lumisa's pause screen food is sushi instead of curry and the app warning about curry, I get the feeling Lumisa is not much of a curry fan as her father and grandfather. Perhaps not. Why do I have the urge to jump in here? really nothing in this room it seems there's a fairy in here hmm well that was handy this room. How do I get that guard before they see me? Like that. Okay, it wasn't that bad. I... this isn't gonna work. Oh, I have to do the thing first. <laughs> Bonk. Oh my god, I almost didn't make it. Okay, take the dang thing off. Terrible. I'm saving. Corridor of wind. We flew like the winds. I don't want to do that again.
I wish there was a button for Gale Fibula, yeah. It's not the worst, but yeah, opening the menu sucks. And then I have to remember to go- to push to the left instead of the right. To get there quicker. Watch this be an orb, but even an orb would be pretty awesome right now. Totem pole. We've heard about these. I think it was in an email. A figurine that amplifies the Holy Grail's power. You can add prayer altars to the Holy Grail. Okay, so now I need to go back and find my prayer altars, which are these. There's some that I can get to and some that I can't. Every time I go to the surface, I put it on for the dip. Oh, yeah. How many mothers have you released from their metaphysical prisons this stream? Hi, Hempuli. Welcome in. None so far. I'm working on it. Now, how am I going to remember? How to get to these prayer altars? And why do I need them? Let's go back to Anufin because I'm pretty sure I can get to this one. Thanks for the hydrate. Fire, welcome in. How's it going? You released a couple of mothers during last break. <laughs> nice. How many times have we done this path, this stream? I can't remember though. I know there's a shortcut to the top, but I don't think I can go back down through here, can I? Maybe I can. Oh well, we're going this way now. Because this is where my muscle memory took me. traps are. Oh god. Oh, it was below me. Whoops, I wasn't paying attention. It's right here. Been lurking. I finished this game last month and it left a void in me. Hopefully this playthrough will fill it, if only vicariously. Oh, I- I'm glad you enjoyed it. I'm sorry I left a void, but I hope it's fun re-watching. La Mulana is so good. It's just this weird, I always talk about this, but this weird genre of games that like, it's so mean to me. I shouldn't like it this much, but I do. this spot. 
Now, does it stay there forever? That I don't know. Don't answer that yet. Craving other people's playthrough after getting through it yourself is such a La Moana thing. Yeah, it really is. Oh, we were just talking about ESA last stream. I need to write it down. I don't think I have. Even though we've talked about it way more than one time. My memory isn't great for things that we talk about while I'm alive. If I don't write it down, it just whoosh. Sometimes it's gone forever. Um, I'm gonna put a check mark next to this prayer altar. But I'm wondering if you can only store like one additional prayer altar at a time. Let's try to find another one that I can use. If I remember where they are. I don't think I know how to get to the frost giant one yet. I know I've I've seen two. Or I've examined two. I did that with Axiom Verge once, most of us know how that ended. Came in here to watch me. And the rest is history. Maybe this is the other one I've examined then? It is really interesting that they look like Gates of Departure. Like mini ones. And I don't know how, um, having that prize really helps me that much. European Space Agency is cryptic and mean. Yeah, this is the other one that I can read. Okay, so you only get one at a time. Interesting. Sumo, how's it going? Welcome in. So then I don't really need that check mark. I just have to track which one I have stored at any given moment, it seems. Yeah, additional warp point, it's nice, I'll take it. Now we're back to trying to find Mulbrook. Have I been in here before? Yeah. Quick save and setting it? Oh, that's really nice. I feel like this room is one giant trap. Oh, I remember this room. I tried to do the Gale Fibula and launch myself and I did, but then I hit the wall and I bounced back into the spike pit. How could I forget? Well, I guess I haven't tried like a normal jump yet. I mean, it's not gonna work. What about a damage boost jump? <laughs> and that's why they gave me this. like the running in this but it's annoying how cumbersome cumbersome it is to turn on and off yeah we were just talking about that I wish I had a quick button 
to toggle. I don't know how to get up and over that area. I want to get back to like this side of the boat and then go that way. I don't think that's gonna work either. The pit spacing, I know. We're looking for Mulbrook. I need to stay on task. We're looking for Mulbrook and we're trying to unlock the boat for this boss fight because I think in order to get double jump, I need the mantra to use in the feather cross room. That's, those are my predictions right now, but I keep understandably getting distracted by literally everything that this game has to offer. There might be a mod for that. Oh, as of yesterday? Oh. Oh, I could read, I could examine this skeleton if I wanted to. I don't really want to, sorry. Here's the other side of the boat. Mulbrook, are you over here? No thoughts. There is only Immortal Battlefield. What is the name of this track again? Is this the Midgar one? Um, is there an eyeball in this room? No. Midgard, not Midgar. <laughs> oh god, I don't even know how to get to that. Oh yes I do. I haven't marked any of these Dinosaur doors is what I'm calling them. I'll put a D for dinosaur. Next you're gonna tell me there's some big scary serpent in Final Fantasy VII. This is new. Pit of time. This looks like a mini boss room. This looks like a weird room. I don't spoil Final Fantasy C7 as a rule. It's probably a good rule. I've actually never played it. Right, we're doing it. <laughs> oh, not the rat again. I'm over this rat. I didn't even get to read the lore. Catalyze the stoppered flow of time at the pit of time. An ancient machine will duly deliver you to the altar of time. Why? Mm. 
Nut boy's over, you two. Get out of his tree. Ratatask is like door-to-door -door school salesman, always popping up again to harass you. They're trying to harass me about my car's expired warranty. Oh yeah, that's true. We are in his tree. Yggdrasil. Ow. Ow. I died. That was fun. Well, we made some progress. Billy Ratatosk here with another great skull. All right, now that I did that, I'm gonna go read this. Please leave me alone. I wanna be left alone. Do not bother me. I just wanna be left alone. Oh my god. <laughs> Worth it. I have a question. Actually, I don't want to ask that. I'm going to try to examine every point that I possibly can with the scanner. But if I examine skeletons and then I forget and I die and I don't go back and do it again, such is life. I don't need that weighing on me. If I don't have examine all points achievement in La Mulana 1, then I'm not going to worry about it for La Mulana 2 right now. I'll get it with the randomizer someday. I wanted to come through here. For no reason. Oh well. No, oh god, I hate this room. Uh. Okay, we've been here before. I don't know how to get to the boat. Let's grab a fairy though. lost in my own map and I haven't finished down here I guess or did I just forget to draw this because I think this was the exit to Icefire treetop hmm yeah this area is huge who lives over here It only falls straight down. Yeah, it's like Twins Labyrinths. Oh, right, Soma. We've talked to you before. I always love the moment when people lay their eyes on the map for the first time. It's just a lot. It's a lot to take in. I guess I'll grab a quick save. I think this is the boat room? 
Yeah. Mulberg, are you in here? No. Maybe I'm not supposed to find her yet. Maybe there's something else that has to, has to happen before I can find her. Because she hasn't emailed me yet. To say, hey, come hang out. I could drop into that doorway. Also, it almost looks like you can examine behind the waterfall, but it's hidden. She's not in her tent. I sent her to explore Immortal Battlefield. People get used to 20 screens per area. This area is even larger than Twin Labyrinths. Oh my gosh. It's a lot. I haven't been over back over here in a while. Probably for good reason. Cursed. Oh, this is how we got to um cavern. I don't actually need to come back through here. I had the fairy to heal me and then I squandered it. I was gonna try to get back to this row of the map that I don't have yet, but I don't really know how I would go about doing that. I actually want the other... this one. I have ten weights left. No! Oh my god. I'm so dumb. I was just sitting there letting it happen. Nine weights left. Oh, I don't have to use one again. That's nice. There we go. Oh, but there's nothing over here? I just learned that I'm worst fan of Norse lore. Why did it take me so long to figure out that Midgar Zalem was a Bork translation of Midgard Sarmer? AKA Jormagond? I don't think that makes you <laughs> the worst fan. Wait, was I supposed to Try to hit that wall? Important cubby. It's a very nice cubby. No hints though. I don't know if that actually was one. There we go. It was that I was supposed to hit it, but I don't think this was glowing green before, so I forgive myself for not noticing. Ooh, la, 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 la. 
Osprey, welcome in. Outer Space Osprey, haven't been on Twitch in a while. Nice to be back, tuning in for company while I work on a grant application. Good luck on your application. Hope you had a nice holiday too. Tunes, hi, welcome in. Has there ever been another game this channel has streamed other than La Mulana? <laughs> Life is La Mulana. <laughs> How's it going? Oh, I wanted to tell you something, Tunes. I wanted to point this out on break. If you do Gen the Three, huh? In chat, the spinny one, the one that shows up up here is yours, Tunes. I can't decide. Oh no, now it's. I selected the spinny one, but it always uses yours in the chat bubbles. I feel like I need to consolidate and just pick yours and make it permanent. Life is La Mulana. We are trapped in Metroidvania hell. <laughs> it looks really good in the chat bubbles when it's the big size too. Can I make this? Yeah. Yeah, I can. Not a mimic! Ooh! Ooh! Ice cloak! That's exciting! Where are we going now with some ice cloak? Oh, look at it! It looks so stylish on us! Wait, can you take it off? Oh! <gasps> It's on, it's off, it's on, it's off, it's on, it's off, it's on. A frosty cloak of ice, where to negate almost all damage from falling into lava. Such a chill find. Hi Kai and Mike, welcome in. To the ice area so the cape matches the environment for fashion. Same with the gale, oh yeah. I don't think this one shows up anywhere, but this one definitely does glove it's cool I like it we're a superhero is she Batman yeah all right here we go Oop! ow hound doom is getting me danger magma This path is a land- oh, let me get my map. It's all the way at the bottom of the pile. This land- this path is a land of unruly flames, the searing treetop presided over by the giant searcher. Those not born of here have no hope of survival. Dun dun dun! Ice fire treetop notes go here. Oops, sorry. I messed up this map. I drew it too far down on the page. This track is a banger, yeah. Nothing but bangers. Ginnungagops Chasm. Okay. That's supposed to mean an entrance door. There's a pool of like ice water over there, I think. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I was trying to hit the bat. I didn't realize this was a solid statue. Well, that's as far as I can go for now. Can't climb over the statue's butt. Do not hit the statue booty. <laughs> I thought I was just gonna go right in front of it. It is not in the background. It is very much in the foreground. Is this the door? I feel like this is the Nidhogg door. It must be. 
Now we fight the dragon. We've got two bullets to spare, so maybe we do fight the dragon. Or the squirrel. I don't know what happened to Millbrook. She's gone. We're gonna have to wait on Kujata a little longer. She takes her investigation seriously. I bet she's napping. <laughs> she's sleeping. Hylian, what's going on? Um... Pikachu! Oh, this room. I always get stuck there. That jump is weird. Alright, let's see how this does against Nidog. Oh, come on. We're doing it again. End it. <laughs> I need to at least get both of them to land. Sometimes an investigator just needs to sleep on it before they can have their Eureka. Relatable. This way is way faster anyways. Not if I don't make this jump. Oh, okay, that did work, that worked. I only have 30 shuriken though. Oops, ow. But it only has a tiny bit of health left. Ooh, dang it. Come on, Jen. Oh my god. There's too much pressure. There we go. Ooh, loo, 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 loo. Lots of money. Let's see if this takes me where I think it's gonna take me. Jumping around platforms was very welcome change. Money! Hi Dan and Milo, welcome in. We're making progress today. We've made progress pretty much every stream though. Oh look, it's my dad! How are they gonna troll me this time? I should go save so that I don't have to do that fight again. <laughs> Bye, Dad! Oh, I don't think I can get through this way yet, though. Dad and Grandpa. Thanks for the joy. Turns out it was a good guess. Well, they did tell me in the tablets. Shorn was shivering. Now I can cross Nidog off of my list. Nidhog.
Why is that jump so hard? Oh, <gasps> Pikachu! Oh, that is not... <laughs> that is not a skeleton that I can scan for lore. I feel like this statue is gonna kill me. Oh. Oh, it is. What is happening? You, cut that out. Stop throwing stuff at me. There we go. Okay, the water is cold. We knew this. I opened up this other path. I don't know what happened to Shorn and Lameza because I was too busy getting hit by a skeleton. This path is a freezing one. The frozen treetop presided over by the guardian Modgood. That's new. You must pass the frozen pillar to proceed. Okay. I need my map back. Beautiful. Did I screenshot this? No. I tried to play La Milana Classic some days ago to reminisce and it didn't run on my computer. Oh no, what if it doesn't run? I'm worried. I don't want to give empty promises. What do we do if it doesn't work? What will you all accept as an equivalent? You got it running? Okay. I'll accept everyone's channel points. It went, ran well enough on mine. Okay, good. That's good. I don't want to switch to something else. I feel like the only other thing that would be equivalent would be like Hell Temple, which I don't want to do. Oh yeah, Devarian. We'll see. We'll make that a different challenge. Needs a compatibility mode. Okay. Unplayable. Gotcha. Alright, let's see what this area... That looks like a trap, because there's no ice on the ground. Oh god. Wow, I got it? A long one. The remaining survivors of the fifth children are enclosed within the Gate of the Dead. A race known as the Aeneid. Apparently they are sealed off deep down in one of the branching areas, together with their enemy race, the Amarna. The cause of their fighting is unknown. It is likely that the Aeneid are fighting against the Amarna because the Amarna are looking to seize power. Not yet having spoken with the Aeneid people, this is all I can say with confidence. Compared with the previous races, it seems as though the fifth children were created to be much more intelligent than their predecessors. One would assume that the mother realized that having too much power had caused previous races to set their sights on the power of the mother herself, and therefore created the smaller, more intelligent race. Consequently, inside Eglana, which is filled with an eclectic mix of the various races, these people are referred to as dwarves. However, too much intelligence can also become a form of great power. Their high intelligence caused them to fear their own mortality regardless of the fact that they had much longer natural lifespans than we modern humans. So the fifth children continued their research into technologies and methods for escaping death, as well as for creating life itself. The races remaining in La Mulana constructed a massive pyramid and planned to utilize it in an attempt to absorb the mother's power. Possibly seeing these behaviors as a form of blasphemy or sacrilege against herself, the mother used her power to throw the language of the fifth children into confusion. Now, unable to communicate properly amongst themselves, let alone with other races, the fifth children started fighting each other and eventually wiped themselves out through war. However, the life-bearing machine created by the fifth children, the Tree of Life, was used by the mother as a tool. She was now able to create life, and subsequently a new workforce without using any of her own power. Born from this Tree of Life were the race known as the Sixth Children, who were aesthetically similar to modern man. Having been created from clay, their lifespans are immensely longer than ours. It was these six children for whom the influence of the mother was considerably weakened who began to consider sealing the mother away. Good lore. 
Some guy, welcome in. How's it going? I got stuck in La Milana too, so I took a break by starting up Hell Temple. Oh my gosh. If Classic won't run, I'll accept you Relic Hunting and Ancient Ruin IRL. <laughs> Sounds good. Now what? I gotta swing on the pillars. Let's go save. Oh, I got an email! There's ice mixed in with that water. Even with Scale Sphere, the cold is probably gonna chip away at your health. Thanks, Zelput. I already figured that out. TT, welcome in. How's it going? You're not late. We lobbed the whole Mulana. No, we're still, we're just chipping away one challenge at a time. One obscure bit of lore at a time. One vampire at a time. Okay, do not recommend fighting vampires in lava. This is my least favorite skeleton of the whole game. No! Danger magma, danger magma, danger magma. I lost more health than I had last time. Okay, that did break. I learned my lesson, so I guess now we'll go down there and see what happens. Oh, cool background. Niflheim. I think this is what we're looking at. Oh wait, I haven't been in this room yet. Skellington has serious wind up on their throws. Wind up. I don't know why I read it like that. There is a tool that allows you to latch onto walls. Simply by stretching out your hand and taking grasp. With it, you could swing around a pillar polished to a mirror sheen. Yeah, you've mentioned that. I think I understand that clue better than I did before. Niflheim and Muspelheim? Also, the namesakes of the soundtrack are the Nordic realms of fire and ice. Cool. Fun fact. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna make it. It's too slippery! And I'm too bad at hook jumps. Oh look, that light coming through from there. Not another skeleton throwing bones at me. Oh. Nice. Niflheim is World of Mist. Okay. Meberry, welcome in. How's it going? I better save. I really want to scan this skull, though. A stone statue thought to be of Ymir, the Norse mythology proto-being. The myths tell of how he was defeated by his own children, how the world came to be from his dissected body parts, and how dwarves corresponding to the four cardinal points held his skull aloft creating the sky. That's cool. We got grapple! Now we can grab pillars, mirror sheen, shiny pillars. Let's eat some sushi midair first. <laughs> She's so cute. Alright, I'm gonna go back. I don't want to lose grapple progress. Okay. 
Imagine you'd have beaten Nidog on day one and gotten it then. I don't think I would have survived the trap by Shorn and Lameza, because I didn't know that would happen yet. The lava, the ice water, the bone skeleton, none of it. You got it the first day, 88? Oh my god. I know of a streamer whose first item outside of Roots was Grapple. That's t don't tell me that! That makes me feel terrible! <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, I don't feel that terrible, but that is very funny. I do kind of want to come in from the other door. I hate coming in this way. I mean, I'm sure getting grapple early is awesome if you do, like, a speed run, but I don't think it's the expected first time playthrough outcome, so. Oh no! Danger, frigid! Okay, I did better with my health this time than last time, though. Brought a lot of patience and a lot of shurikens. I love it! I know, if it had raindrop, that'd be great. I only have 10 shuriken right now, speaking of. Wee! That pillar looks like it's been scrubbed and polished pretty well. With a surface that smooth, you could probably grab on with grapple claw and swing all the way around to the other side. While holding on to the pillar. Wow, Zelpud. Try pressing the direction toward the pillar and pressing jump. Whatever. Whoa! Fancy. Oh, but I can't get back up here? That's annoying. I didn't want to anyway. Yeah, Zelpud likes to backseat a lot in this game. No, stop doing that. Oh my god. Alright, well, we're going down here now. This looks like a, like, double long room. We're still falling. No, we're not. The color of that there lava sure is nasty. It looks suspicious as hell. All my years of experience tell me this will be impossible even with Ice Cape. We call this poison lava. Why? Why is he so backseaty in this game? <laughs> no, it's just because I have to keep the software on because other people talk to me besides Zelpud. Otherwise, I would turn that software off in a heartbeat. Is this a trap? This is a really interesting room. Uh, here there's a... What do you do when the ice cloak takes away one of the scariest things in a video game? Add poison to it. <laughs> I like the color of it, it's pretty. Sing bird of prey, beauty begins at the foot of you. Gaze upon that foot. Excuse me? The foot of Fudo? But which one's Fudo? <laughs> Oh my 
god. No! No! Danger. Magma plus poison. Got it. Thanks. I can't even, like, s swim properly. No, that's just a me problem. The fairy that discovers secrets in their hand a small key. One HP, hell yeah. We're mapping. This was a cool room. Top antechamber. Somebody lives in here. No, it's okay. So many pots. Link would love this room. I just want to get to this room to see if it's a shop or an NPC. Ow. Oh my god. It takes four shuriken to kill them. Well, that's more HP than last time. Is this a mimic door? Oh god, I can't even... No! I hate you! My weapon won't reach. Well, this sucks. gonna kill me again oh I keep running directly into the fireballs I don't want to have to keep reading these Much better. I don't think I've ever killed one of those imps before. I want them for my glossary. Oh my god! Oh, I must have. What are they called? No. Weird. Oh, I didn't even see it fall. Okay, well, I don't know how to get in this door, so we're just gonna take a break. <laughs> I'll come back and What was I doing? Oh yeah, I was upset that I can't get to this door. I need to break every pot. Maybe this is just like the gate of illusion.
No, oh, I don't think it is. Sadly. Maybe I need to double jump and I don't have double jump yet. Oh, <gasps> money! Oh! <gasps> No, absolutely not. It's not on the map! How long did it take you to get the Gate of Illusion puzzle? So long. <laughs> Where even is this? Oops. This is so cute. This room has this door that I haven't been into yet, and a tablet I need to read. And I'll put a big star here. Can we play these? I can't scan the mural. Or the doors. If you die inside the game, do you die inside the ruins? And then do you die in real life? Which one is the one about posh women slapping each other? <laughs> what? Rose and Camellia? This is- I can only read a couple of them. What? Okay, I have future development company. It's that yellow text, I think. No. It's a mean puzzle. Yeah, it took me forever. If you die inside the game, do you die in real life? Really should ask that when I play games rather than is there fall damage? <laughs> For some mysterious reason, I'd actually played that back before La Mulana and it was years and years later before I realized the connection. Oh my god. Well, now I have to go in every single one of these. Behold, air in a room. Well, this was fun. I gotta, I gotta heal and then we'll come back. That was, uh, that was interesting. <laughs> what a strange area. They added a new stage to Rosa Camellia and La Mulana? Huh. I forgot that I have, um, this spot. Which, I don't even know if I want this. Maybe I should focus on the things I can get to now that I have Ice Cape. Die. Oh, there's a fairy in here. No! fairy that I don't know how to get to. 
<laughs> oh my god, that one was on me. That was all me. That's the name of the La Mulana chapter, Rose and Camellia and La Mulana. Where, where do you get to it? How do you play it? I mean, I'll take a fairy. It's a Flash Gamers. Or on Switch in Japan. Huh. I forgot to mark that I did get a treasure in here. This is the skull room. <laughs> okay. I haven't been up there yet, but I don't know how to get up there. So now we need to regroup. Gotta wait for it to release. Oh, okay. I'll wait patiently. <laughs> regroup and go back here. Because I messed up that pillar thing and then I got distracted. We were doing other stuff. It's fine. Oh, I didn't even see the skeleton there. God, I think the fairy was in the way. I blame the fairy. <laughs> you can make a J profile on your Switch and go to the J store and get it. Really? Oh, that is... Whoa, 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 whoa! That is tricky! Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> so much failure. <laughs> New platforming skills are being learned. Thank you, Lolo. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm sure I'll like this once I get the hang of it. It's like Grapple. It's like... Meridia all over again. Oh, God. I, I want to come back here after I get double jump though because I hate having to warp back every time I mess it up Maybe oh, it's too late now. I warped away, but maybe there's something I can do there Refill that I didn't necessarily need, but that's okay. How? Well, maybe I'm not supposed to do this right now. I feel like I should be able to just launch off of this one and go like all the way over the pit. I know there's other places I can use this too. I don't have to use it here right now. Namely, Shrine of the Frost Giants. 
Frosty Shrine of the Giants. Because I'm going to get tired of this real quick. Understand I can swing around the pillar, but I'm not understanding how to like launch off of it. There we go. Oh, stupid bat. That's unnecessarily hard to get used to. Oh, there's a ladder up there too. It is the flow of water you wish to defy. The treasure of the dwarves will serve. Anchor? What's the other? Helmet? Helmet. Or, well, it depends. This is by the Aeneid. I don't think I've read any of their stuff yet. Oh, she's gone. Oh god. Oh no. Hound Doom. It's using all of my shuriken! This is the first time getting into this room. Gyalar... Gyal... Gyalar brew. Gyalar Fascinating. And Nana, a mermaid. My body was hung in the underworld left to decay. This was my punishment for daring to enter the underworld living. Huh. Oh, snake, not mermaid? She looks like a mermaid to me. I got excited. Mermaid is optimistic for La Mulana. I don't know. Anything can happen. Earth mermaid. A water snake. There you go. One of the other rulers of the underworld. A woman who ventured down into the underworld while still alive. She went to visit her sister, the ruler of the underworld of... The, oh, the sister of the ruler of the first children, but received the death penalty for approaching the throne while living. Her body now decayed. Only her spirit remains to warn those who get too close to the underworld. Tribe Kotoa Matsu. That's new. What? Did you see that? <gasps> There's another one! There's ice chunks everywhere! They're gonna get ya! Oh, the demon is making them! Ah! Oh, I'm having trouble doing the hook jump there. Okay, I want to go up here. I need to come back to that room, though. So 
says it's T for tablet. Oh, I need to go. I missed a tablet down here, too. They did throw fireballs in the hot area. This is true. <gasps> Shop. Great bird nest. It looks like uh, another hot spring. Ooh. Ooh, no. Let me read the tablet. Lindworm. Dragons born out of chaos with bodies not unlike those of humans. They have crystals on their backs which store elemental powers of fire and ice which they convert into magical attacks. Some are said to be equipped with the powers of both fire and ice. The heated waters of the plains gush with power. To the, the power to surpass the body's limits, the power to erase stabbing pain, the power to ease that which leaves the hand. Supposedly, there's a shop in here. What it, What note did I just get about a bird? Sing, bird of prey, beauty begins at the foot of you. Gaze upon the foot. Oh, look at my cool grapple hand now. Wolverine claw. stone statue of a giant bird. I'm gazing upon the foot. Okay, I don't think that's it. That demon woman is really having a good time down there. Supposedly there's a shop in here, though. Shop? Question mark? Is this broken again? No, it's still working. Keep exploring. Some swinging platforms. Looks terrible. No, 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 no. Jump onto the ladder. There you go. has a chest and a seal and a spear thingy looks like a nightmare 
Oh my god, this area sucks. Frozen moon treetop. There is not a push button fibula mod, but it's being lightly looked into. Huh, interesting. Okay, super heavy currents on that water. Do we think I can make it to the other side of this room? And live to tell the tale. Oh god. Oh god, nope. It's impossible. I want to go save because I don't remember when I last saved. <laughs> I love this area. No! Oh wait, but I'm never going to be able to do that grapple thing ever again. Damn. Looks like this is the end of the playthrough. <laughs> they didn't give me... I don't have like a... I have this warp, but that doesn't help me. That's on the fire side. It'd be nice if I had a prayer spot on the ice side too. Danger, health drain. Oh, I haven't seen that yet. It's from the shiny Pikachu. Ugh. Whoa, I'm so fast now. No! I want a tablet! No! <laughs> Sorry for the cackling. Ice treetop. Oh! The squid went on the platform! I don't think that's supposed to happen. <laughs> but I'm glad it did. For all of our sakes. Whoa, whoa, this keeps going up? I'm cheating. I'm cheating. No! I didn't realize I had that little health left. I was so excited I was gonna make it. This area is not cool. Cheaters never prosper. You know, in this game, I feel like it usually is a good thing for me when I, when I cheat. Hot and cold, never cool. Ugh. Stupid bats. No, stop that. Oh, thank you. Ooh, garb chest. Kimono cowgirl? Alright, well, I'll make a note of it. Just love Mulana things. It's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> G for garb chest. 
Whatever this is, I hope it involves udders. No. <laughs> Why would you say? Why would you wish for that in this game? <laughs> what kind of graphic nightmare and horrors? Oh my god, but just imagine the Doja Cat outfit on. No, don't imagine that on Lumisa, but like. Cow print explorer outfit. I could live with that. <laughs> Water flows from the eye of chaos. It watches the conflict between angel and demon and weeps at the disparity in power. All that work to read this one tablet. Written by a third child, Olympian. That's also the first time I've noticed. We might have read one, but I missed it. A third child writing. It's cool. Yeah, this song is a banger too. We've had lots of dance breaks today. Now I wanna know, oh, there's another tablet in there. I wanna know how many garb chests there are. Not actually, like, that's not a safe word question, but I'm fascinated. How do I just scooch along here? At least one. At least two. I found two. The other one was in the cavern that leads outside. The secret hidden by the golden rock, hidden behind the wall, pinned by the golden rock. Yeah, we've seen that place. The Amarna wrote this. Oh, we used to have an electric guitar BTTV emote. It was like Shred or something. When I played um, Artful Escape. Hang on. Or we could just do the TT emote that I made. Oh yeah, I forgot that exists. 2020 Shred is cute. Oh, this is like a skeleton guitar. Yeah, we do have the banjo. I want to find a good one. E-guitar time? I can also rename it to whatever I want. Okay, there you go. Enjoy. That was really important. Skeleton guitar, Mr. Bones? <laughs> it's like a cool looking one, but... I don't know how easy it is to tell what it is in chat because it's so tiny. I don't think I can get over to the- oh, yes I can. Oh, I don't think I can do hook jumps off of this slippery surface though. Nope. Rip. We gotta do it again. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna go buy some more shuriken. <laughs> This is stressful today. I started out with such high hopes. Let's get some weights too.
That's probably fine. Okay, what else did I say I was gonna do? I can use the grapple in other places. I don't have to keep coming back here. I do feel like I could get still the rest of this upper part of the map drawn out though. Before I move on to Shrine of Frost Giants. And then there was another thing to do with... Oh, the water in Immortal Battlefield. I think I need an item to, like, flow against the current or something. No, no, no! Stupid. Still so stressful. This room really stresses me out too. Ah! Oh my god. I never thought my grave would be here, but I'm happy that my mother and father are pleased by me, and their blessing made me seek the Maker's light. Oh. They take eight hits. No! Oh, I thought that one was going to have a message, but it's just a regular skeleton. Except, was there a glossary thing over there? No. 16 hits with your starter whip. Oh my god. Oh, I feel like I should have ridden that up. But I've been I've been up there. I know that that's where those swinging platforms are. That's this room. Lady, are you gonna shoot that right at me? No. That moved the statue, but it didn't open the chest. So. They're beefy. 32 shuriken for one and, and minor enemy. That's wild. Oh, that was close. Oh, this is all tightrope stuff. Mod good. Those who would seek audience with the mistress of the underworld, hell, must first gain my permission. Your character art is really cool. <laughs> Permit me. To reach hell, you must first enter the eternal prison. To enter the eternal prison, you must defeat the terrible bird Vidofenir. Is this another spelling of the same one? Don't answer that. Well, I don't know, whatever. To defeat Vidofenir. You will need the power of fr flame. I feel like this is a different bird. Suter's wife, Sinmara, possesses the power of flame. You will need the light scythe in order to receive the power of flame from Sinmara. The light scythe lies inside the eternal prison, therefore you cannot reach hell. <laughs> okay, thanks! I'm so glad we had this talk.
Well, I guess we gotta go home. Liar. Isn't there something you can do? If you absolutely insist you could try speaking to others familiar with the underworld, I shall not stop you. Okay, so we should go back to that guy in a mortal battlefield. I wonder what happens if you call them a liar. Probably nothing good. Yep, game over. That's it. Soft lock locked by mod good. I've memorized it. What did I do? Modgood, tribe must spell. Known as the Black Guard, Modgood observes those who enter the underworld, indicating the way to would-be challengers from the world of the living. But this is not an act of kindness. The ruler of the underworld has ordered her to pass on living sacrifices as part of her duties. Oh. Staircase and the chest is open. Okay, good. I want to read this tablet. Sadly, I don't have the uppies for that yet. Oh, yes, I do. Ratatosk slumbers. Trace the illusion's path and seal it. Then the true body will awaken. So we've just been fighting Ratatosk's dream self? Maybe. So much tightrope walking. Oh, I'm going to fall through all the way. <laughs> Well, I called it, didn't I? There's something about this bird. over here. Oh. Yeah, we're getting lots of ice sliding animation at least. That's fun. Okay. Fairy guild pass. Yay! That's huge! Now maybe we can get the- we can free the fairy from our favorite NPC. Oh god, that room is a nightmare. What is this? Oh, nice. Yeah, I'll add that. There you go. Um, I'm gonna go back and heal. I'm gonna come back here. I want to try the swinging platforms one more time before I move on. And I want to try to go through the door, the exit door. There's like a staircase to another realm. <laughs> it's perfect! Oh yeah, we still gotta go in this way. 
all the stylishes need to hang out together. I need to put, I was gonna put a static one of Jen the three stylish on BTTV and I keep forgetting. Or I have a slot for it on Twitch emotes. If we want an animated and a static version of it in the same spot. I don't know, I'll think about it. We have a bunch of emote slots. What do you, we have a ton of animated emotes. Is there anything we're lacking that you all really wish we had? Okay, this room. A shell horn would be good. That would be fun. I don't know, that's not really an animated one though. That's just a static pixel art, right? Oh god, I second guessed myself. <gasps> no. Okay, we're fine. You see me floundering indecisively midair. Probably the one I most want to use is a thinking emote. Something besides lore, because lore doesn't really cut it. Puzzles, yeah. Never seen anyone with jazz hands. I was just watching uh, What If Julia last night doing the Bob Ross stream, and she has this emote that's like, hands up, like, oh, you caught me, I'm guilty. It's not jazz hands, but I feel like it's close. I thought it was funny. Inferno Shrine. The fail emote. Oh yeah. Lore feels like something to use after a puzzle is solved, but less while it's still in progress. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, we're over here now. This is the swingy platform room. My fail emo is the hands on face for now. I don't have like a, oh, not like this fail emo. Anthony, hi, welcome in, how's it going? I like all of these, don't get me wrong. We have, I think we have like three to five animated emote slots. And one static. And then like BTTV. <laughs> what am I looking at? This isn't, I don't think this is a mini boss room because there's other enemies in here. Oops. But I could always be wrong. I've been wrong before. How many shuriken does it take to kill you? My goodness. Oh, I should go back and, um... Read that tablet that I missed, too. I forget where that is. No, I remember. Sequel is good. I'm enjoying it, yeah. It's been fun. Today was hard. We did some hard challenges, but it's still been fun. Encant words in the midst of the ominous, twisting swelter. The two words that will illuminate, illumine day and night. That will lead to Underworld Gate where Vidofnir waits. This is the second Icefire treetop chest that I just, it's just sitting there. The 
doesn't even hurt you. It's because of your fancy shield. Is that a riddle game? It is, yeah. It's a puzzle game, but the puzzles are often like really cryptic riddles and you write down all these notes from all these different pieces. And then you try to figure out what it means. This room reminds me of that other room where we fought Ratatosk. This is the riddle game, pretty much, yeah. I think it was this one that has like those V-shaped things. Weird. It's an adventure game with heavy emphasis on puzzles, riddles, and mysteries, and rudeness. <laughs> and slapstick. This is the Smilers game. <laughs> oh, and I'm missing a room below this one. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that all happened so fast. I was gonna break that uh, vase over there, but forget that. Thanks, Rigardin. I appreciate that. I think it's funny that this is a cozy stream, but the games we play like nine times out of 10 are not cozy. <laughs> Maybe not nine times out of ten, but like, we're playing mostly La Mulana right now, so I wouldn't call this a com uh, co cozy game. I wanted to go back in here and get that one tablet, and then I think I'm satisfied with this area for now. We're gonna go talk to that character in Immortal Battlefield, though, that knows stuff about the underworld. And then we'll talk to Sinmara again, maybe? Oops. No! There goes all my health. Okay, well, let's start over. <laughs> Wait, why? Oh, because I didn't examine it. It let me warp there, but I didn't get the quick save. Weird. You gotta you gotta examine it to get the quick save. Okay, I wrote that down, but I didn't you know, it was still glowing as if I hadn't read it, so I came back. What in the world? How do you get to that? Alright, I don't care. The cozy underwater exploring game with huge dangerous creatures, Subnautica. Yeah. What other cozy games have we played? Metroid? Um. Tears of the Kingdom. I don't know if it's a cozy game. Kind of. <laughs> Symphony of the Night. The dig. <laughs> Let's save. Now, where is this character? Dread, Metroid Dread. Belly flopping into black holes and the sun in outer wilds. 
Even when the stream isn't cozy, it's a great place. There have been a few times we somehow turned into a wonderful informal group therapy session. Those were quite soul healing. I'm glad, Fenris. Group therapy through gaming and just being in a community together. Having a mutual hangout, hangout space. Elden Ring? Yeah, there you go. We did play Elden Ring. I did a pacifist run of Elden Ring and got- I went as far as I, um, could go without fighting. The Dig! Yeah, I did play that some guy. It was awesome. I loved The Dig. It was hilarious. I think it's just to the right over here. It's such a nostalgia hit. I need to play more- what- what was it? LucasArts games. We played Monkey Island 3, and I wasn't the biggest fan, but I know there's the remake. I probably should play the remake. Or not the remake, the newest one. My stream froze with Jen having an amazing expression. Oh no. <laughs> I hate it. <laughs> Thanks for the emote. Day of the Tentacle, yeah. I've been recommended that one. I liked Return to Monkey Island. I've heard it's really good. Loom by LucasArts. Day of the Tentacle is the best scum game. Let's see if this character tells me anything. Would you rise to the challenge of the underworld? It is known as the Eternal Prison, as it is the place where sinners were once jailed for all eternity. You will not be able to reach hell without knowledge of the correct path. But I know another path. Cross the river Styx with a small key in hand, then move on to Nipahelir. You shall receive a weapon that will do you great service if you are to traverse the underworld. This was so helpful! See, I knew right where to go. Thanks, Yama. Loom is on Steam. I grew up on Monkey Island. They're awesome. It was fun. It was very funny. I did like it overall. I didn't like the rhyme battling, which is like classic Monkey Island. And I didn't like some of the puzzles at the very end because I was just so over it. I was ready to be done and I couldn't figure out how to beat the final boss. Cross the river sticks with small key, but I don't have a key fairy yet, so let's go to, um, let's go to our favorite NPC. Oh, and we can do a bunch of stuff here now, I think. Only scum game I played were Full Throttle and Sam and Max hit the road, never beat Full Throttle. We played, um, what other point and clicks? We played Pajama Sam, Zumbinis, Spy Fox, some good kid games. Oh yeah, Bargain Duck is our favorite. Mulbrook is our favorite. Oh no. <laughs> Zelpud's our favorite. Alright, we're playing, we're visiting, I can't even say the NPC with my favorite fashion getting so cold outside. It's gonna be cold for a long time. Yeah, Daddy, it's so cold here. Hence the giant oversized huggle. How do I get to this character? Oh, I know. I gotta do this again. And don't forget, Carbunko isn't an NPC, though. Right? I don't think so. Fairy guild guy, yeah. That's who we're going to see. Fairy guild guy. Or maybe the- maybe Freya. I don't know if we have to go to her first. Sup, girl. Y'all need a fairy? We got a fairy. Hook up the funds and y'all can have one too. Only 300G. You down? Hell yeah. 
You don't got the funds, broke ass punk. Carbunko's the main character. <laughs> oh my god. It's not player controlled in the most technical sense of the word, it's an NPC. Yeah, you're right. This made me laugh. Yeah, Cabada ca Babadaba has been defeated. Bab Babad Cath. This, we defeated them. I need money! Oops. Yeah, I fought Babid Kath and then... Actually, I don't know, have I been back since I got the life sigil? Maybe not. Maybe this will be groundbreaking here in a second. Oh, I did come back. That's right. And I think I need to swing around this thing. What are we doing? There we go. I was like, I think there's a break in the wall here somewhere. I don't trust this room at all, though. Where am I on the map? Why am I not on the map? It's so weird. Golden altar. All right, I'm going for it. Pacheki! Oh, maybe now I can fly the ship. The giant Burglemere supports the world of frost. His awakening will melt even the eternal wall of ice. This is like a weird... There's like a sword... And then this like weird platform thingy with like a screw under it. I'm still gonna... I'm just drawing a picture. Lemise's idol animation. Yeah, the pause is so cute. The Burgermeister. Now I can fight Palenque. Let me copy this and then we're gonna take a quick break. Second Child, Titan, wrote this. Find the hollowed pillar once again. I think I'm good on hollowed pillars now. Maybe. All right. I like this music a lot. Uh, so what were we gonna do? Talk to, well, we need money. Oh no, I lost my train of thought. Trav, welcome back. How are you? Oh yeah, I got a putt check key. Thank you. I was like, what just happened? A key for activating an ancient vehicle. Press the item button to insert the key. Exciting. Now, I'm curious if we activate it during the fight or we need to go someplace to activate it to like summon the vehicle and then go to the fight. Also, actually, I don't know if any of that's right. 
Because the only place I've seen the key is in the mural in Immortal Battlefield. Cold. I know, it's so cold. La Milana 2 goes really well today. I feel like we've made good progress. I'm just thinking... Do I want to go look at the mural? Or... Do I want to go back to the Ankh? I want to go look at the mural real quick. If I can find it. It's right here. I don't remember how to get there. We gotta go up and to the right. An ancient rubber dinghy. Yes. I think that's it. Okay, maybe to the right and then up. Sleep time. Good night, friends. Thanks for company this evening. Have a good sleep, Adam. Thanks for hanging out. Take care. I know this was a while ago, but I saw you had tried a La Milana one rando. Yeah, I've done a few of them. It's fun. I've been itching to do another one, but I feel like I gotta wait until I'm done with this to go back to La Milana one so I don't get confused. We did um, one on stream, my very first one on stream, and I didn't finish it. And then I think I did two or three on my own off stream. Maybe finished two of them. And then, okay, here's the mural. Uh, I did another one on stream that was random start location. And then we did a hard mode one? We've done a lot. <laughs> Or maybe that was the same one. I don't know. It's a good time. What a big mural. Wow. There was something like this in La Mulana, too. There was a guardian sealed in there. The mural looks similar, too. It looks like some sort of vehicle. What's it holding in its right hand? Some sort of controller? Maybe it's a key for working the vehicle. Yeah, I got it right here. Haha, <laughs> collide. Alright, well. Oh, I forgot about that. That's funny. Outer space, enjoy dinner. Thanks for hanging out. Okay, well that's not the answer, clearly. Did I scan this? I don't think it's scannable. Alright, now we're going to... How do you know which boat is which? I've done a lot too, never tried randomizing starting locations or transitions, it sounds awful. Transitions was fun. Starting location was fun too, it's just... I didn't... I didn't... Doing that with hard mode at the same time was probably not a good choice. <laughs> but I start with like, Grail, Mirai, Boots, I start with a bunch of stuff, so... This boat is different from that boat. How are you supposed to know which boat is which? Where's Mulbrook? Oh, sleeping. <coughs> Excuse me. 
I wonder what this is. This little cheese puff looking guy walking around under the tent. You think it'd be yummy? <laughs> She's sleeping. Do I have a folder for Mulbrook? No. I have one for philosophers. Would it be yummy? I wouldn't eat it, but that's just me. This time the Pachet key is an actual purse and the key's inside it. But you need to ask every NPC about it before someone points it out. You can differ differentiate them by looking which one was the original. Alright. No more answers. <laughs> Boat. 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 Okay, I don't think it's the spiral boat. A Theseus ship? Oh, okay. I don't know. It went over my head. <laughs> There's another boat. There's so many boats. Oops, this is trapped under my keyboard. Come on. Theseus was a gross pervert. I don't know anything about Theseus. I don't think. Okay, this went well. <laughs> Theseus is the one who did the whole Ariadne Minotaur thing. I forget. My head is too full of La Mulana lore to remember actual mythology, which is all based off of La Mulana lore, so. Um. All right, since that did nothing, let's go back over here. Every time the map I need is at the bottom of the pile. as a Norwegian, the Norse myth is based on La Mulana lore. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Lama. I'm glad we've got... We went straight to the... to the source. Yeah, the way they work all these different mythologies into one game and the way they explain it is that all real world lore is actually based off of La Mulana and they call La Mulana like the cradle of humanity, which I think is very funny. Oops. Oh my god. Keep forgetting this isn't where I want to go. Oh, 
Why am I missing every time? No, this is the screen I wanted, but I don't remember how to get back there. I always have to go through this room. Okay, now I just want to start over and heal again. Uni unifying mythologies is a creative project. Interesting to see people's takes on that. I like it. I think it's fun. It doesn't always work. But I think it works in La Mulana. I don't know. I just choose to accept it. So I guess the way to get there... is still underneath and not above. I was so convinced that it was the other way. Summon elevator. Oh god. Alright, let's see what happens. I feel like I have a 50-50 shot of this doing anything. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Summon my ship! <laughs> it didn't work! is worth a try. <laughs> part of the reason I've been dropping jokes about La Mulana being part of the SMT multiverse. Lore from everywhere plus tech doing arcane shenanigans. Oh man. Where's my ship? Alright, it's time to consult my notes. Oh. Kujata! Kujata is a gigantic bull said to hold up the ground itself. Believed to have been born from the chaos of Iglana, he exists in a realm of nothingness. So large is his body, it cannot fit into a human's field of vision. Mountains of rubies line his back, which erupt when he becomes enraged. Nice. HP, 80. Well, that's not a lot. Yeah, it is. Okay, so now I need to read. Search for Kujata. The Guardian Kujata. Do you want to watch? Do you want to see these notes as I read them? The Guardian Kujata was set upon Anofin by the Lokopala, only to be sealed by an Ankh at the hands of the Alpha Seers. That doesn't help. That doesn't help. Okay, none of this is helpful. Let me find... I had a note from earlier, I thought. Hmm. These are my mantra notes. Here's my Anufa notes. Kujata. Oh, that's the one I just read. There's the boat! Maybe I should search boat. 
Heimdall. Fairy King Mausoleum. Kujata slumbers amid a sea of chaos. You must possess a ship to cross the sea of chaos. A ship of the dwarf siblings, Brocker and Aitri. Oh, we've seen. Okay. Our Brocker and Aitri must be the blacksmiths. I don't have their names in here, I don't think. Um, Let's go find them. Let's see what they have to say. The first time I played La Mulana 2, I played on hard mode unknowingly. Kujata was one of the worst experiences from that playthrough. I have a visceral reaction hearing the name. Oh no. I cannot imagine playing it on accident in hard mode. I would be so sad. And this is from someone who plays, like I played Hyper Light Drifter on easy mode. I played Cult of the Lamb on easy mode. Like I love, I love just a chill time. And even Cult of the Lamb still kicked my butt a couple times. I would just quit. <laughs> No, but it's not as fun. I don't know. I'm just not... What is it? I'm a filthy casual. What can you say? Here for a good time. Not here to win any awards. Whee! The frogs are back! Filthy casual playing La Mulana. Yeah. You know. Uh, it's either this one or that one. Okay, it's this one. Let's see if they'll even talk to me, though. Because they really don't like me. Who are you? What? A ship? I know nothing. That is my brother's. He's in the workshop down below. Okay, I tree doesn't care. When I first played... First, Kujata was bugged in a way that made even hard mode seem enjoyable. Oh my gosh. Y'all who played right on release. I want to hear the story someday. I'm in the Just Bad at Games boat. AB, SMT, and Sonic the Hedgehog notwithstanding. You've specialized. Fenris. You found your niche, that's all that is. I think solving Gate of Confusion puzzle alone revokes filthy casual badge? I don't know. I don't think so. Anyway. Oh, you played in 2019. Okay. Oops. Well, that's still cool. I mean, that's weird that it still was buggy. Who are you? What? A ship? I know nothing. Actually, I do. Ahahaha. Ah, Thanks. There's more to explore here. The brothers are funny. I didn't build that ship. I do know how to make it go, though. But that ship wasn't built by me, so it's a piece of crap. Who built it? I thought I was looking for the two of you. You could fold it up and carry it around, but it's not exactly well handling ship almost useless actually it just kind of floats where the water takes it <laughs> i love all the laughter i wish more of my favorite games had difficulty settings often want less of a challenge yeah sometimes you just want to chill there now the ship should be folded up go ahead and take it <laughs> 
Thanks. It's a little paper boat now. I'm writing all this down because I think it's funny and I'll never get to see it again if I don't screenshot it. You want me to say all that again? Keep laughing, pal. <laughs> to be honest, in my opinion, the Mulana bosses are generally a bit weak in terms of gameplay. They look cool and are flashy but clunky. Oh yeah, which... Like, there's a reason why I really, really enjoy the La Mulana randomizer, because it's less about... Oh no, I have to do this boss next and more just like do I know the logic and where to go on the map like the bosses to me are less of a pain Well, uh, I don't know. I Avoid bosses when I do Hollow Knight randomizer because I'm like, oh that one's really hard I don't know how to kill it quickly. I'm never gonna be able to beat it. I'll be there for an hour Whereas La Mulana, it's like no, I know how to beat it. There's only like one way to beat it tiny hitbox use the whip use the gun like it takes the stress away. In Babylonian mythology, there's a stack of arbitrary stuff in the world is held upon. It's earth, an angel, a ruby, a bull, a fish, a sea to swim in, then darkness. The fish is Bahamut from La Mulana 1, the bull is Kujada, but as the glossary said, it has a giant ruby on its back, so they basically merge these two into one entity. That's cool. I know you're a big Chrono Cross fan. There's a version called Radical Dreamers. It's the like in-between game. Um, it has this, it's like almost a text-based adventure that came between Chrono Trigger and Chrono Cross. I haven't played it yet. I've been meaning to, I just haven't gotten around to it. I heard it was really buggy. It's not a new game, but they released it on Steam recently, like in the past two years. In LM Rando, it's super easy to avoid bosses for a long time. Yeah. Yeah, they seldom rely too much on reflexes. Exactly. Do I really have to fight Vi now? Can I save it for later? Exactly. Been meaning to play Chrono Cross again. The last time I played was probably 2006. Same. I was obsessed with Chrono Cross when I was a kid, when I was in like middle school in 2004 or something, 2005, I forget. And I played through and I had like seven or eight save files on the PlayStation because I was going for every character and every ending and every item, all the traps for like the summons and stuff. I was really into it. I loved that game. It has mixed reviews. Yeah. I don't know. I remember talking to a couple of you when it came out. Of why it was mixed reviews. Wait, so where's my boat? I still don't have enough money for the ferry either. The ferry, get it? Ferry like a boat? People disliked the port. Get out! All right, well now I kind of want to go back and see if it's not there anymore or if it's there, but it's tiny That frog jumped so high! A ship that the Fairy King Frey is said to have had the dwarves build. It's small, collapsible, and portable. 
Can be deployed as a ship if the need arises. Origami boat! Crown Cross in general is divisive due to a couple reasons. Yeah. Well, I don't think the Steam reviews are because of the in general divisiveness, but I could be wrong. Small. The boat is small. I mean, it could be because of the divisiveness. I just feel like it would be weird for people's Steam reviews to be about how they were expecting a more genuine Chrono Trigger sequel because it's not new. <laughs> but I don't know. Crashes every 20 minutes. That sucks. Disappointing. You know what? I forgot to go f catch that um, quick save in Enoughin. Enoughin. The I forgot to go back and get the totem bowl save. Oh well. Oops. Okay, we're off to a good start. While they've removed it, seen it not happen to folks, you come from above and are in a boat and it will crush you? Wait, really? <laughs> I love that. I want to see the boat fold up around me. Little origami Lumisa. Lumisa does zip, yeah. Okay, well, I don't really need the other quick save if we're just coming through here. Hang on, I don't want it to save with the wrong weapon equipped. Okay, are we ready? We're gonna try it again. I don't know if it's gonna work. I wanna fight Kujata. Show me the cow. Oh, <gasps> you don't even need the key? It's so cute. Wow. Oops, I wanted this. Okay, bye. That was my stop. Go back. You're going too far into the sea of chaos. Whoa. Okay, you know my favorite weapon. Shuriken all the way. Okay, I got your eyeball. Don't mess with my ship. What are these creepy meatballs? Rubies? They remind me of the eyeballs in Terraria. I don't think this boat made of paper is gonna last very long. Oh my god. The health isn't even declining yet! It's not even going down! Oh, now it is.
Halfway there. Goodness. As excited as I was to fight this giant cow, I'm less excited now and more scared. Meatballs. Oh my god. Oh no. Okay, so we definitely want to fight these things instead of leaving it for the last phase. I'm dead. <laughs> I remember beating this boss in Breath of the Wild. Do you? Valiant first attempt. I think. I'm, I'll, be, I'll be the judge of that. Let's do it again. I wish I had a weapon that like, like swung around in a circle and got all the fireballs around me. Oh, I should try using like caltrops on the eye or something clever. I wonder, did they nerf the caltrops in this game? Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. This would be f third guardian? We fought Veritra and Fafnir? So angry! I want a montage of this boss fight with I'm on a boat. <laughs> I got my flippy floppies. Oh, I can imagine Lumisa wearing like boat shorts and flippy floppies and sunglasses. Yeah, I like the music too. I should turn it up. Okay, if I stand right in the path... I wanna kill the meatball! I can't reach it! Oop, okay. Maybe I should not focus on- oh, there we go. It doesn't take very many hits. No, stop! <gasps> no! <laughs> I was doing so good. That didn't happen. That doesn't count. <sighs> Dang gravity. I knew it was possible, but... I didn't think it would happen to me. Okay, wait. Moo! I'm coming for you, Kujata, and that pillar that you swallowed. right here and don't move. The booster visuals on the boat. Just everything about this. I love it. Oh my god. Please don't fall. Is 
Sometimes I stand in exactly the wrong place. I'm too afraid to fall off the back of the boat. Okay. Oh god. Hi comments, welcome in. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Don't knock me off the boat. Not fair, not fair. This is going horribly. I don't know how you're supposed to do anything at that point. I got way farther the first time. Youch. All right, let's continue. Queen, how's it going? Welcome in. All right. We're gonna keep going. We can do this. I think I need to make it to the last part with a little more health. Just a little. What happens if you stand on the dock and just let your boat ride away into the distance? I don't think pacing is helping me. Da -da, da -da. Oops, I forgot to equip the shuriken. No! Oh my god. I swear it has one hit left. And I took two hits delivering the last hit. I want to know when I get... I don't actually want to know. This is not a safe word question. But I want to know when I get flare gun. Because we've seen the ammo for it. And I feel like it would be helpful in this fight. So maybe it's sitting somewhere and I just missed it. You know? It's possible. I don't want to know. Thanks, Llama. I don't want to know soonish. I don't want to know latish. I wish I was taller for this fight. Oh my god. I'm so tiny. God, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. No, 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 no. That was the closest I think I got. Thanks, mods. No, you're good. It's all right. I just... It's fine. I shouldn't have asked. I'm not messing with caltrops though because I will end up stepping on them. I know I do like this cow. It's too bad they gotta go.
If I stand over here, your little pew pews don't hit me, so I can save health at this part of the fight. Takes so many shuriken, but I need the health. I feel like the eye art changes slightly. It looks like a donut. It's the everything bagel. That took so many shuriken. I don't like it. I'm making you hungry again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't know where to stand. Ooh, okay. Here's good. I'm gonna run out of these, but I'll get a few hits in. All right, we're they're gone. Oh. I thought I was far enough away from that, but I wasn't. I don't know. Oh my god, I jumped right into it! There's no way. Stupid meatballs. Well, sitting here doing nothing isn't gonna do it. Boo. Wait, 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 I forgot to get my water. I just wish I could get to that section with more health, but I'm not dodging any of the eyeball shots. The lava rocks, all you really have to do is stand in the right place. But these things... Oops. You can hit it twice and then run away, maybe three times and then run away. Hi Daxon, welcome in. How's it going? Okay, that was better, maybe. Rubies are falling from the sky. One, 
two, three. Oh god, I didn't even see that thing there. One, two, three. One, two, three. One. I don't know where to stand for that one. I guess I move over here. Two, three. Two, three. One, two, three. Okay, that one's done. That one's done. One, two, three. Got him. All right, much better getting to this phase. But now we got the giant meatballs to deal with. Going good. Just back from game night, which was good, but it was cold and slippery. Oh my god, it's been so cold. I hope you get warm and toasty soon. Get out of here, meatballs. I wonder if they regenerate. Oh. I don't know where to stand! Not there! They do regenerate! I can't hit it! You have to be exactly from that side of the boat and jump over. Poor Lum Lumisa. I feel so bad for her. <sighs> Negative 20C here. Oh, it's so bad. I don't know what our temp is in Celsius, but it's been like two degrees Fahrenheit the past few days. It's rough. It's rough. It's real cold. Just sitting in front of the heater, staying bundled. So you take a lot more meteors to the face. <laughs> Okay, at least that part's fine. I think seven whips per eye, yeah. Well, unless the last phase is longer, I don't know, but the other ones seem to be about seven. better last time. Okay, that one's done. Yikes. This part sucks. One degree Fahrenheit is about ne negative 17, yeah. 
Oops, I did not mean to sideways jump like that. It's just, if I stand there, which is the only place I know where to jump from to hit it, I can't jump towards it because the things hit me. I don't understand where you're supposed to jump to. I hate it so much! And then you have to do the whole freaking fight again just to get to that one phase. Ugh. Oh, and we're gonna have to have an ad. Boo. All right, let's just take it. Walk away, take it, we'll be right back. Wait, I don't wanna have this music playing though. Okay. I'll see you when we get back from- Okay, let's do this. Uh. I just didn't want to sit in this music for the whole break. Oh, I turned up the music too, I forgot. Because I like this boss music. If I can't get this tonight, I'll be very mad. Because it almost worked out like the perfect timing to end just before the break. I like our idol animation. We like tip our hat. It's cute. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Oops. Okay, that one's done. Ooh, I didn't get away quite quick enough. One, two, three. I'm afraid to go back too soon. No! Okay. Good enough. I'll take it. It's pretty good. Now we gotta kill the meatballs. Okay, don't run right into them. That's bad. Oh, if I was just a little taller, Lumisa. You know what? Forget the meatball. Running after the meatball is getting you hurt. No! No! Oh my god. Something was working and then it stopped working. No! Oh my god, no! Dang it! Oh my god, it was so close!
I feel like I'm finally getting in the hang of like where to arc over and jump. But I keep getting hit by the stupid meatballs. It was one whip away. It's not even that, like it's hard, but it's not that hard. I just, I hate when this happens. I hate when we're at the end of stream. And I feel like I'm letting everybody down by not finishing the fight. And everybody's like, well, she's never gonna get it and just leaves. Uh. This boss. I feel like there's so much build up to this boss too. You hear the name Kujata like pretty early on and you're like, oh my god, we're gonna get the pillar. And then you gotta get the Ankh jewel, and then you gotta get the Ankh. Alright, here we go. That spot is hard. I can't figure out where I'm supposed to stand there. I thought I was gonna break those meteors. Oh well, we were really close. Stand in my safety spot. I wasn't ready. Oh, that one at the bottom is beating me up. No, we're screwed. This fight is stupid! I thought I had the timing on that. Every time I think I'm like... about to get the right timing for the lasers. I mess it up. Oh, because it's more than three shots. That's why. Okay, now I figured out. Nope. Same thing as last time. <gasps> oh, not the same thing as last time. Oh my god. Thank god it's over. <laughs> we really were one whip strike away. Good job, Lumisa. That was tough. Oh, get out of there! Get out of there before it crushes you! <laughs> Adam Bath, hi, welcome in. Thanks for the GG's! Let's get our pillar! Yay! Woo-loo-loo-loo-loo-loo-loo! <laughs> All right, we've got some business to attend to. The craziest comeback, thanks everyone. I was beating myself up. <laughs> Thank you for the bits. <laughs> Ooh, loo -loo. Okay, ready? Heaven. Earth. Sun. Earth Sun. Heaven Earth Sun. Oh, that's so cool. 
We got an email. I fixed the Ankh jewel. Put it back in its usual shop. Research isn't cheap, you know. We already bought it. Yeah, this is awesome. Okay, perfect. We have so many things we can do next time. Celebratory puddle. Maybe there's another one. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, thanks mods. Yeah, I don't know if that was a joke or not. I love using mantras in this game. I'm so excited! Just a guy, welcome in. How's it going? Alright. I feel like the world is about to open up a bunch more. Um, I've been doing a new save for new guardians. I feel like I don't need to, but that's okay. Thanks everyone for hanging out today. This was a marathon of progress. We got the Pacheki, we got the gun, we finished Nidhogg, Ratatosk, and we got the boat. We got the fairy guild pass, but I need more money. We got the ice cape, we got the grapple claw. Was this today too? I think totem pole was today. Chakram was today. So many things. Um... I will see you all tomorrow for La Mulana Classic, and I will see you tonight for movie night. Thank you to my Kofi supporters, Oracle the Great, 8 Trav, Toon Wolf, Semi Cortex, Metal Spring Pro, Megadan, Wymizer, and Stowe. I appreciate you so much. Thanks for